Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, thank you so much for choosing to click on this video. If you haven't done so already, I would love for you to pause this video and watch my all day deep cleaning part one first. But this is going to be my all day, uh, all day deep cleaning part two video. This video, I'm going to be giving you guys a lot of laundry motivation. I'll be deep cleaning a few things in my kitchen. I'll begin deep cleaning our bedrooms. And yeah, <laughs> I'm pretty much trying to deep clean all of the things that I haven't gotten to in the wow or the things that I haven't cleaned at all while being in our home. So if this is something that you're looking forward to continuing to watch, I really do greatly appreciate it. Make sure to give this video a big thumbs up if you haven't done so already. I would love for you to subscribe to my channel and to be a part of my YouTube journey. But um, enough babbling. Without further ado, we're just going to go ahead and hop right into this video. This is still going to be somewhat of a vlog, so I will be um, talking in and out of this video and this is just what real life looks like for me cleaning with a eight-year-old a three-year-old and a seven-month-old So right now I am folding the kids clothes. I will be putting them away soon, but I'm also catching up on my YouTube friends YouTube videos while I clean as well. This is something that I like to do um, just to show my support to you guys. Watching you uh, clean, <laughs> it helps me always get motivated while I clean as well. So I was just wondering, what does that look like for you guys when you are choosing to support your YouTube friends? Do you clean while they clean or do you just watch their videos on your downtime? Oh, 
And now that I'm done putting away the kids clothes, I have my bowl of hot water, fabric softener, and pine saw so I can give my couch a good wipe down. I'm sure you guys are probably rooting me on because I'm wearing my baby as I'm cleaning and honestly it wasn't easy it really hurt my back a lot but I just really wanted to get this done I didn't want to keep using excuses to not get things done because the kids were going to be in the way but if that is something that you are afraid of, which is causing you not to clean as much as you should, have the kids help you clean. If you have a baby, use something to wear them on your back. And even if you don't have one, put them in the playpen or do whatever you have to do so that you can get things accomplished around your home. So I've heard people talk about cleaning their toasters. I had no idea of what they were talking about when they said that. So this is what they're talking about if you are like me and did not know. What I did was I literally just moved my toaster from this corner and I seen that it left some crumbs. And I was like, hold up, where is these crumbs coming from? So I noticed that it had this little lever back here. So I opened it and it came from back here. Like, look at all it is. That is not cool. And we literally use the toaster every single day. The kids love waffles, toast. Um, I haven't ate bagels in a while, but, you know, there was a time that I would eat bagels every day. And this is just all of that accumulated in this toaster. Like, how gross is that? I know it's just bread, but that cannot be healthy. Like, look at that. So, I definitely recommend cleaning your toaster. So another place that I learned that is a overlooked place to clean is my microwave vent or oven vent. I don't know what it's called, but one day this little thing here fell, which I did clean it a while ago, but I'm pretty sure I might need to clean it again before it gets too dirty. This thing right here, this is the microwave or oven vent i don't know i know it's a vent clearly but this thing gets extremely orange and greasy due to the heat rising of the food and the grease splattering it just smacks all on here and all of this gets greasy and orange and black and it's just gross luckily i just cleaned it not too long ago but it still is a little greasy and nasty if you can see my hands 
which I have a paper towel and I'm going to show you. And just imagine if you've never cleaned this thing before, if you have a hanging microwave, I guess uh, uh, your microwave is mounted right here. I don't know what it's specifically called, but yeah, look at that. And I literally cleaned this a couple of weeks ago and just think, look at that. That's not good. <laughs> not good at all. So if that looks like that, which I'm going to use my, this is my specific rag that I use to clean my counters, tables, uh, mark on the wall or whatnot. I try not to use my dish rag because the dish rag is for dishes, but this rag is going to be for everything else. So I cleaned that. Now watch this. Now this little black mark was from cleaning the outside of the vent. Let me know in the comments what this thing is called. But for right now, I'm just going to call it a vent. <laughs> but anyways, so now I'm going to clean this area. All of this that's underneath here is maybe I should have used the other side, not the black side. So let's see. It's orange. Now the black was from this vent thing. So look, it's orange. Now mind you, once again, I did clean this a couple of weeks ago. So it was even more gross than this. But yeah, you guys, this is definitely another place to look out for when you are cleaning. There we go. Okay, so honestly, I am going to kind of spot clean spots that I know that are dirty. Bust it, bust it. frozen but I will clean this little part so just to let you guys know if you are looking for a refrigerator deep clean this probably isn't the video for you <laughs> this was definitely like a lazy clean but Elise is getting clean so and there you go there you have it guys and right now, I'm just going to do some YouTube magic and speed this video up pretty fast. I'm going to be putting up all of my groceries and filling up the fridge and freezer.
And now that I'm done filling up the fridge, I'm going to put up the meat that I'll be cooking. I have it sitting in the in the sink to dethaw. So I'm just going to put that away in the refrigerator and put the clean dishes away and do the little bit of dishes that I have in the sink and make some Kool-Aid. Now I'm in my basement about to wash clothes. Before I do that, I am gonna wipe down my washer and dryer. I noticed that there was some lint and detergent stains on the door and the handles. So I wanted to go ahead and clean that first since I rarely clean my washer and dryer before I wash. Let's see what my baseboards is looking like down here. Look at all of that dirt. Yuck. Yuck. So we're gonna take care of that. Oh, I got a little splash of purple flabuloso, splash of bleach and water. Now I'm just gonna be using my handheld vacuum to vacuum up the crumbs and dust along my baseboard behind my bed. I'm also going to be moving my dresser, which I did not get on film. I'm gonna be moving my dresser and doing the same thing. I'll be cleaning my windows, cleaning the ceiling fan, and also putting up my husband's laundry.
I'm in the boys room, I'm only going to be cleaning their ceiling fan on film because this video is getting a little bit lengthy because I do end up going back in the kitchen to clean my oven. Now we're going to end off this video with some encouragement with my kids. Try something new. Think looks hard. It's brave to try. So try something that you think looks hard because it's brave to try. Well, it is brave to try, right? Mm -hmm. What is? What do you think looks hard? Uh, you don't know right now? Well, that's understandable. Let's see. Oh yeah, there's something hard. Get squeaky out of his cage. Because that one day he told me to get him out of his cage and I tried to pick him up, but he ran away. He ran away? Yeah. Well, you know, sometimes you got to keep trying. Even if you can't get it the first try, sometimes it takes that second try, the third try, even the fourth try. You just don't give up, right? Your turn. Okay. Everything. Okay, guys, so this is the ending of this video. I am fresh out the shower. The boys are just about in bed. I'm nursing right now. I'm pretty sure you guys don't want to see that. But <laughs> baby got to eat too. And uh, I just want to thank you all so much for watching this video. I really hope that you chose to watch it throughout the whole thing. This was part two of deep cleaning. I'm not quite finished with the boys' room. I haven't started the baby's room at all. But for the most part, my room is done. All of the clothes are caught up, which I am so glad for because I won't have to do much throughout the week other than worrying about cooking and doing the dishes and probably sweeping and mopping, of course. But for the most part, I'm so grateful to have a clean home and I'm so grateful to have the energy to do it. But um, if you guys enjoy this video, please make sure to give it a big thumbs up. If you haven't done so already, I would love for you to subscribe to my channel and to be a part of my YouTube journey. It really helps my channel a lot when you guys like and comment on the videos. Thanks so much for kicking in with Kirsten. Peace.